Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got extra special guests on the channel. I've got Heidi and Toby from Crypto Tips. And in today's video, I want to run through with them how to basically get as much of the profits back in your own pockets from your crypto profits. And we're going to talk about taxes. We're going to talk about repatriating some extreme examples that some people may feel is too extreme, but we're also going to talk about taxes and within your country and of course, what to do next once you've got your profits. So guys, thank you for jumping on and uh, talking with me today about all of these issues, which are pretty important when it comes to basically scaling out of your investments at some point. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for having us, Jason. I think it's, it's really important. And, and for us too, it's something that we're living. So, uh, mm. you know, we can talk about it as, as best we can based on our own experience and through our own research of getting to the point where we are right now. <laughs> Living, breathing it, you've done it as well. And just to, to my guys, uh, Heidi, Toby, do you mind telling people where you live now or is that off, off the record? Fine, yeah, no? yeah. We, we live in Portugal. So, live in Portugal. Um, yeah. And yeah. W which is actually a country that is uh, crypto to crypto tax free. So, we. It's, it's all crypto tax free yeah. if you're an individual. Yeah. yeah. As an individual, you're no taxes for, for crypto. They've actually, they announced that after we decided to live here, which was a happy uh, so, announcement yeah, for us. Yeah. Um, and they've actually clarified that twice, um, last year and the year before. So, so far so that's good. Cool. Um, that's one thing that a lot of people are asking about is like these crypto friendly countries. And it depends on what you determine to be crypto friendly. If you're trying to build or, or form a cryptocurrency or a, or a cryptocurrency business in a country, you're going to want clarity on regulations. Um, countries like Portugal might not have uh, that much clarity, but at the moment, they're pretty friendly. Um, and that's something to, I, I think is important to pay attention to, especially if you are looking to live somewhere that isn't going to be taxing you on your crypto profits is that might be the case now, but it might change later on. Um, it depends on a lot, I think, of the country and um, kind of how much they want to uh, incentivize people to come there, open businesses, live, be a part of their economy. Um, so it could be crypto friendly countries like Switzerland um, or uh, countries that have, again, a lot of kind of regulations that make it clear for people to navigate rather than somewhere that doesn't have any kind of regulations at all could be seen as crypto friendly, but at the same time that could turn around and clamp down and really mm -hmm. um, affect how your business or how your livelihood is affected by that. So yeah. it's definitely something to pay attention to. We'll also talk about briefly, if people don't want to repatriate, we'll just mention a few of those things. Cause ideally the whole point of the video is we want to go from uh, a lot of people are interested in crypto, but then they want to know how to get out of crypto. And the point we're talking about when it comes to, to moving countries is to get out of crypto to, to save as much of that as possible, especially if you're all looking to make $5 million off five coins, which is a pretty big SEO topic, but uh, you know, you want to be able to keep as much of that as possible. And most countries are going to tax you a solid 50% of, mm. of those profits. Just before we, we move on any further, guys, if you find value from the video, leave us a like down below and go and check out crypto tips. I'll have links to Heidi and Toby's, channel down below i've known the guys for quite some time now they have a surfing image behind them because toby surfs big waves and i started talking to him because i surf small waves here on the gold coast he does 60 foot i do two to three foot so that's how we got to know each other and talk quite often from all of that so a lot of the guys that are watching they're uh, australian american canadian british some from um, southeast asia you guys are from the us originally just run us through step by step what happened there and then what it is that you do about taxes now. And then my other part was like cashing out. So setting yourselves up if you two options, if you move or you don't move, got any experience yeah. on that? Yeah. I mean, Heidi, Heidi and I have discussed like renouncing for a while. So mm -hmm. um, it was before, even before like crypto really blew up. So like, um, I mean, when I started crypto, it was in like 2013. So, um, why were you really thinking of renouncing? Uh, a lot of people probably don't we know. We never really had plans of living in the U.S. Um, like we've been traveling a lot, and Portugal particularly has always felt much more home to me than even the U.S. or my childhood home, which was strange, but I went with it. Um, and 
being a U.S. citizen that comes with a lot of red tape of that government, um, things like FACTA, FBAR, they all can affect how you can live in like open bank accounts or if you want to open a business, uh, having yeah. a U.S. citizenship behind you for many people might find that to be beneficial, but really if you have no plans of living in the US, um, in addition to them taxing your global income, even if you're not living in the US, you have to uh, apply or you know file or pay taxes to the US. So it just really didn't make sense for us and we kind of knew that from the get-go. And for us, it was just kind of waiting for the right timing and um, uh, I renounced in February, 2019, so luckily for me, that was like during a bear market. So my crypto holdings were pretty low. So that made the process actually pretty easy. Um, it is an extreme situation, but for us, again, it made sense because of where we wanted our life to go. It wasn't so much like we were involuntarily or like, you know, uprooting a life that we'd already had in the U S sure. we were already pretty much abroad. So just cutting that last tie really. And, and we also knew like where crypto was going to go. Yeah. Like, I mean, this was, we're not, we weren't guessing. Like we understood, like, we, like we knew where the, the potential and we had enough faith in, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum or whatever to go, okay, we can get out of the country of the U.S. completely, you know, um, before we hit like a $2 million mark. So mm -hmm. a $2 million mark is when you have to pay an exit tax. You're called a covered wow. expatriate. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that exit tax is 30%. Of your so, total holdings of, of, of all your everything assets. Everything you own. So say, yeah. for instance, you own property Even if you've already paid tax on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you have to pay your final tax and then you get taxed on everything that you're holding if you're above a certain threshold. Yeah, so we're like, crap, okay, we need to get out before we hit 2 million. And we knew we were we would eventually hit 2 million. And so my, like, all right, let's do it before we're covered ex, ex, expats. And um, yeah, it's been, been yeah. a really good process for sure. So we actually talk about, you know, things to do with your uh, profits. The, the bull run from 2017, and the alts of 2018, we saw a lot of profit from that. So we were able to afford a second citizenship by investment. Um, so we pursued that, that option first, um, got that second citizenship, and then that's now our primary citizenship and we cut ties with the US. Um, so like for us, it really timed out really nicely um, using the highs and then um, cutting ties while it was a bear market. Um, so, that's, that's definitely a thing that I'm always encouraging people on our channel when we do live streams or whatever is to have a plan to think about it. What could your yeah. future be? What are the logistics that you need to go through to meet those goals? Um, because these bull runs in crypto go crazy. And you really, if this is your first time going through, through a bull run, I mean, not to get too much like uh, FOMO or like uh, hopium, <laughs> um, but like really, you you most of the time you're gonna have to raise your expectations for what this could happen, and um, just to have like an ultimate plan A or ultimate plan B or whatever, um, and kind of so if that do, if that um, situation does come, yeah, yeah. you can have a plan for it and actually take advantage of it and achieve something really really great in your life. In our Patreon group, we we tell people, hey you know, write down what your goals are and yeah. like, go like, okay, write down your goals and then write down crazy goals that you like, okay, if I had like <laughs> crazy amount of money, you, you'll, you, you might, might you be might surprised <laughs> because like we could have never imagined where we are today Yeah, back in 2000. It's like we, we talked 15. about renouncing, but like we had no idea how we'd be able to afford a second citizenship. And then that happened. So we went for it, or, like we took advantage of it, you know? Buying so, a house in cash. And because like, we had that really high goal, it actually worked out. So you never know. True. So just before we, we move on too much further, the buying a citizenship, uh, basically you need to have, you need to buy a property that's worth X amount of dollars, depending on which country you want to purchase a citizenship in, correct? Um, that's an option. Some of yeah. them, it's some countries just offer uh, the ability to buy a property or open it, or I think a business maybe, uh, mm -hmm. mostly property. But uh, there's there are some that also just allow you to make like a donation to mm -hmm. the country uh, to a fund that they have, and then so you're not investing in property either. You're just pretty much investing in the citizenship itself. You're giving some the, money the, to the government 
to then take yeah exactly I mean, hurricane relief fund. yeah that's what yeah. it was <laughs> so we, we had the choice to whether we we do 150k for a uh for just a donation or like 400,000 yeah for, for the property overpriced property which i would yeah. i yeah. didn't want to do there's other citizenships out there so that took about that's uh, that average is about four to five months um yeah. And then oh, there's the other citizenships that out there that are like, for instance, Turkey is 250,000 yeah. US, but you get to buy a property. You got to hold on to it for about three years and then you can sell it. So essentially yeah. it could you be a free citizenship as well. Yeah. 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 Um, and that opens because you want a, a portfolio of passports. It's really important because, you know, like, especially nowadays, especially if you're an American, I mean, what, if you're if, focused on traveling, yeah, if you're focused really on traveling, have, we'll talk about as well. If you, if you happen to be an American, you don't want to leave. Do you know of any yeah. reasonable options there? And then maybe if we know any other things, say for Aussies or Canadians, British, are there any other options for these guys? But start with the US guys if you know of anything there uh, in order to yeah, be able to um, keep as much of your profits. Absolutely, yeah. because obviously the more you save, you know, these, these coins have proven to be increasingly valuable over time and not to mention just a helpful tool to have, not just for profit, but you might actually need to be using these. So you want to keep as money as you can for the U S like we recently did an interview with a tax pro who, who is based in the U S and he had some great tips. You can move to a crypto tax friendly state. So you can at least limit your, your tax liabilities on the state level federal level is different obviously that's going to be universal for the u.s but like wyoming uh colorado might be i think he mentioned also florida because i think there's no income tax in florida state um tax. or no state tax thank you um, tax. so puerto rico like that, i hear about that, that every now and then puerto Sorry? rico is a territory puerto rico is a territory yeah. or jurisdiction yeah yeah it is, but there, there's some stringent requirements to be a resident over there. I mean, you have to spend a lot of the year there. That's what so I mean. Like if you, you move there, if you're, if you're living in the U S yeah. anyway. Yeah. Puerto Rico yeah I'm thinking for some of the U S guys, you've got the Puerto Rico yeah. as an option. Uh, and it's a beautiful country or a beautiful and, island. So. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and if you are from California, if you live in California and you are planning on maybe like being a tax resident, say in Florida or whatever, you should do that soon because they're coming out with a law that says mm -hmm. you have to continue paying California tax uh, rate. Um, That's I, I'm not really quite sure. I I don't have the article yeah, in front of me. They're trying to lock him in. Yeah, lock you essentially in, trying to lock you in. But he yeah. this also he also had an idea or this uh, plan of creating an LLC for yourself as a trading company. If you do, I think it, like fifty to a hundred trades a year, um, you can qualify to to be a trading company. So then that way you, you're filing taxes and all that. But I think there's a lot of tax breaks for, um, for that. And also there's a lot of people who don't really know how to approach their taxes with crypto because there's not a lot of clarity again with what's required for that. I think at this point, it's kind of like a, a goodwill effort if you're trying, if you're trying to you know, mm -hmm. do it right or something. And so if you have an LLC that's a trading company specifically for cryptocurrencies and you're using that to announce, you know, it's like you're trying to be transparent at the same time, you're also getting a lot of tax relief as well. Um, so that could be something for people to look into. And again, setting that LLC up in like a tax friendly uh, state, which you can do. Um, you don't have to live in that state to have an LLC in a different state. So uh, yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Whereas Puerto Rico was you had to live more of the, the year there. For the US guys, do you know much about any other countries? I know it's probably not of an interest to you, but with with the US, it's very specific because they tax your global income. I'm not sure that Canada or Mexico does that. So maybe consider opening a bank account in a different country. Canada is thinking um, about doing this. Yeah. Along as uh, Australia as well. So they're considering it, especially the more in debt these countries get. Uh, mm -hmm. the more they're going to clamp down on their taxes. Yeah. Like yeah. we've, we've actually looked into Georgia, uh, the country in uh, Northern, North, Western, Northeast. It's kind of like that central <laughs> Georgia, Europe. West Asia yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 So uh, they're actually made, they make it really easy to open a bank account and they're, I think tech, uh, crypto friendly or at least very open to foreigners open banking accounts. So it makes it very free. easy. It's tax free. If you, if you're making income from outside of Georgia, so that's mm. a perfect place, you know, if you want to mm. make money outside, throw it to that bank, boom. Yes, yeah. and it's with the euro, so that Yeah, you can hold a euro yeah. account, so you don't have to hold a Georgian... Uh, or Turkish lira. You don't want to be holding Turkish lira. 
that and that's thing exactly is, that's yeah. something definitely yeah. to pay attention to as well if you're doing a foreign bank account what currency are you is your profits going to go into and how you know yeah. i mean all fiat currency are going to fail eventually well, but some are definitely <laughs> not doing so well jurisdiction is pretty much what we're talking about when it comes to tax and jurisdiction just means uh, territory or country uh, that you can say that you do a business from or that you live in if, if that's what the rules are so for the other guys out there like we're looking at us we're looking at uh, australia uh, it's about understanding the jurisdictions and I, I know of some friends who have left the country and moved to places like vanuatu it's a bit more of a difficult one because their banking system doesn't always agree with singapore or australia so that's a, that's a challenge as well but to keep as much as possible that's pretty much what we need to look at is jurisdiction that's what, what it comes down to at the end who has jurisdiction over you and your time which is essentially your money so yeah. that's that's the important one to look at that's pretty much that massive point there and the options are you either leave your jurisdiction to get to a new jurisdiction that's more friendly to you or you stay and do the best you can in in your own jurisdiction It'll yeah. be really interesting to see like, you know, cause this crypto space is continuing to develop and grow and gain more popularity and a attract a lot of money and investors. And so it'll be really interesting to see how even different jurisdictions in the States, in Australia and Canada, um, want to be crypto friendly and encourage people to go there to stimulate their own local economy versus, you know, the other side of it where they're just trying to clamp it down and over-regulate it really. So mm -hmm. It's, it's something that's going to continue to develop and change. And I think it's definitely worthwhile to keep your eye on it and to be nimble if you can. Yeah, for sure. And we've got to do our best, especially with uh, the global pandemic closing us all down and making it a little bit more difficult to making move between borders. Yeah. So <laughs> now that we've got that, we're looking at taxes. I'm just reading my notes. Um, we want to understand how to use it in the real world. But basically the most important thing is to set ourselves up properly first. If we didn't do that, now we're at the point where we've got to pay the taxes. We've talked about that, depending on which jurisdiction we're in. Real world use cases with, the, with, with crypto. Is it just a matter of selling out, paying your taxes, bringing the money back into your bank account and then using it for what you want? Are there other options out there? Yeah. I think it's always smart to pursue different options for things like passive income or just getting as many streams of income as you can. Sure, so yeah, whether yeah. that's yeah. <clears throat> investing in property and then it's like a rental property or, you know, you're going to flip houses or something like that's always a thing. Or if you really want to continue to hedge against whatever crazy things are happening with your government and, and local currency is, you know, look at precious metals maybe, um, and crypto, I think, is also always uh, a good idea. <laughs> um, which, crypto, so, which crypto would you look at to hedge into? You know, we got US dollar, uh, USDT, USDC, there's so many oh, of like them out there. Coins. Yeah. yeah. Would you I do mean, that? Tether now has a lot of competition. There's always been a lot of mystery around the reserves of Tether, especially lately. Sure. And I think they're getting, you know, investigated more and more heavily. I mean, Tether itself and, and all of its potential nefarious activities <laughs> is an entire rabbit hole to go down. It's um, crazy. Yeah. But now that there's, there's <laughs> a lot of different yeah. coins also, like they dominated the market. I think more than half of the volume of crypto is going through Tether. So that's something, but there is now other stable coins that are chipping away at that uh, USDC at that. Mm. Yeah. Dominant. So USDC is by Coinbase. It's listed on a bunch of different exchanges. Also G USD from Gemini. Yeah. Um, there's also Dye. some, uh, yeah. X Dye is cool uh, or not X Dye. I'm sorry. Die from maker yeah. is a stable yeah. coin that has an elastic supply. So it's not dependent on, uh, audited reserves of US dollar. It is an elastic supply that's so constantly changing to maintain that stability, um, which I think is a really cool option. And I would love to see much more um, getting explored <laughs> and much more options like that. There's also some gold backed stable coins, um, or, you know, maybe not. It's relatively stable to, <laughs> to, to, to Bitcoin gold. or other yeah. <laughs> cryptos. You know, with that is also that whole idea of audits and if they're, you know, transparent and if it's really there and if you can actually redeem it for gold and, and how all that yeah. works. For me, escaping uh, uh, this volatility, definitely looking into stable coins because for us, 
um, we're looking to always be stacking more sats and, and getting a better position for the next time around. Um, at the same time, you know, still being able to take profits and use those for whatever we may um, have our sights set on. I mean, there, there is something called the wealth cycle. So you want to chase the most undervalued asset, mm. ride that to the top. So it's like a wave and then you sell it or sell a lot of it. And then, you know, right. Maybe even just your initial investment and then pick it back up. And yes. Take it somewhere but else. as far as Bitcoin is concerned, I mean, that's one of the coins that I'm always, I'm never going to sell a large chunk of it. Yeah. I'm just not going to touch it. Like it's <laughs> off the market forever. Um, in case I get, when I get old or whatever. So, you know, there's a, there <laughs> should day. be a portion of people's <laughs> day, yeah. portfolio where they're not, they're never going to touch it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. regardless of, if you have to like, in we'll my live mind, on the street before we that's what I said. In 2013, I'm like, I'm not going to sell this portion of my Bitcoin. I'll live on the streets if I have to before I, think I sell it. Before we renounce, legitimately, I think one of our, like, our, just like you have your super high thing, like, how, how, how low are you allowed to scrape before you get right. your Bitcoin? Yeah. We're like, we could be homeless in Hawaii. It's warm there. They have warm showers. Yeah, warm on showers the beach. and surf. <laughs> hey, why not? Yes. I see you get free tents in Honolulu too. So yeah, <laughs> you know, we're the parks. We, we've run the gambit of, of scenarios for ourselves. Yeah. So, yeah. It's sorted. Yeah. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. I think we've only just scratched the surface of how to basically go from getting your profits, getting as much of that back as possible and then what to do with it next into the wealth cycle. So I might, I'll throw it out to the audience. Like if you guys have other questions, let us know in the comments. Cause like I said, we've just scratched the surface. Maybe we haven't gone deep enough on a particular topic that you wanted to know more about. So let us know. And we'll uh, hopefully get Heidi and Toby back onto the channel to dive deeper into those questions. What do you think? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that'd Love be to. great. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Thank you guys. Uh, really appreciate having you on the channel you guys know where to find them i'll have a link to crypto tips in the comments or in the description down below don't touch anything in those comments there are too many scammers down there uh <laughs> so, so don't really touch things in the description i know it's crazy at the moment and uh yeah look if you found some value leave us a like subscribe to the channel bell notification icon all that good stuff i just want to say one last thank you very much guys any last words no just, <laughs> let's get ready <laughs> Let's get ready. Yeah. Get ready for the yeah. All right. Thanks again, guys. And catch you guys at the next video.